decimals and fractions. This square is divided into 100 equal parts. I can describe the shaded part in this hundreds grid in different ways. How many tenths are shaded? How many hundredths are shaded? Five out of the ten columns are shaded, so five tenths are shaded. Fifty out of one hundred squares are shaded, so fifty hundredths are shaded. Five tenths and fifty hundredths represent the same part of a whole. They are equivalent. I can represent this part of a whole with decimal notation or fraction notation. I can also see that one half of the whole square is shaded. I shaded a different portion on a hundredths grid. How many tenths are shaded? How many hundredths are shaded? Two out of the ten columns are shaded, so two tenths are shaded. Twenty out of one hundred squares are shaded, so twenty hundredths are shaded. Two tenths and twenty hundredths represent the same part of a whole. They are equivalent. I can represent the shaded part of the whole with fraction notation as well. Two tenths or twenty hundredths. I also noticed that the shaded part is one fifth of the whole square. This square is divided into 1,000 equal parts. I can describe the shaded part of this thousandths grid in different ways. How many hundredths are shaded? How many thousandths are shaded? 25 out of the 100 parts are shaded. So 25 hundredths are shaded. 250 out of 1,000 parts are shaded. So 250 thousandths are shaded. 25 hundredths and 250 thousandths represent the same part of a whole. They are equivalent. I can represent this part of a whole with decimal notation or fraction notation. I also noticed that the shaded part is one fourth of the whole square.